My name is Sherry Hong and I play the violin. I've been in the first violin section of the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra since 2007. Well, I grew up uh, outside of Chicago in Naperville, Illinois, and when I was three, my parents decided for me that I would uh, start studying the violin. Um, they didn't have the opportunity to study music when they were growing up. Uh, my mom played organ uh, on her own. Um, she just learned on her own, and my dad also did the same with guitar. So they always loved music, and they wanted me to be able to study. Uh, so I, I suppose they lived vicariously through me. So there I was at three with my little instrument and starting on Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So when I was growing up, um, so I started violin when I was three, and I actually, I also started figure skating when I was four. So I had these two kind of disciplines that I was pretty seriously into both of them. And when I got to the age of 10, I had to, to choose. It was from, I guess from that point on when I decided to be a little more serious with violin, it really did become an outlet for me outside of any, everything else that I did. I, was, I also struggled, you know, growing up as a Taiwanese American in the suburbs of Chicago with my pretty traditional parents. Um, it was a, there was a lot of, there were a lot of times where I, maybe at the time I didn't realize, but uh, a lot of the cultural differences, I d didn't really know where I identified. So I think with music, that was a way f to take all of that away. My college experience was really not the norm. After I graduated from high school, I went to the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor to study violin performance. And after the first semester, I wasn't really quite sure if it was the right pl place for me. Um, and after I finished the year, I decided to just to, to leave and actually to stop playing for a while to maybe explore other paths and other avenues. And I've always had a lot of interest in in industries outside of, of music as well. So I thought I would explore that. And I didn't play the violin for about 14 months. I was uh, working in, in Chicago and, and, and in the suburbs of Chicago. And uh, after working odd jobs and trying to get into marketing and PR and a variety of different things, also working in the restaurant industry and, and customer service, um, I realized that this really wasn't the path for me and that I really needed to maybe explore violin again. Um, I, I missed it. I wanted, I, there was something missing and I didn't feel it right away, but I started to feel it uh, and, and I think just naturally picked up the instrument just to play, just to find a way to express myself and, and feeling very lost in this time. Uh, I, playing the instrument kind of brought me back. It kind of what propelled me on this journey um, to explore what else was out there, but in the end, it also brought me back.